Hey, my fabulous ladies. Um, I wanted to make a video. I posted a video earlier of a Periscope and a guy, let me get the story. Um, a guy was talking about the difference between really selling and sharing and that a lot of um, direct sales and network marketing companies talk a lot about oh, we don't really sell, we're just sharing the opportunity, and um, we definitely sell. We have a product that we put on people's fingers, um, and we sell, but he had an interesting perspective. So he talked a lot about um, no matter what company you work for direct sales-wise, whether it be shakes or jams or purses or whatever it is, that at the end of the night, people don't go to bed saying, oh my God. I can wake up tomorrow because I have the most beautiful nails in the world and I'm just so happy with the way that my nails make me feel. I love my nails, don't get me wrong, they're really cute. I put on some new ones today. But I go to bed feeling good about being able to provide coaching for you guys, being able to know that I can pay my bills tomorrow. So we're really selling an opportunity for a better life. We're giving people a vehicle to provide them with a way to get to their dreams. So I hated my job, right? You guys all know that. Maybe you've heard the story. Some of you are new, maybe you haven't. But I hated my job and Jamberry gave me the vehicle to be able to say, I don't wanna work here anymore. I wanna be able to provide for my family on my own terms. So. That's what makes me be able to go to bed at night, um, is the way that it makes me feel. I feel fabulous that I can provide the life for my family with Jamberry on my own terms. That means if I wanna take a Thursday off, I take a Thursday off. If that means I wanna work on Sunday, because I have stuff to do, I'm gonna work on Sunday because I have stuff to do. But it's the way that Jamberry makes me feel, which, is important to remember about the opportunity. It's not the way the nails make me feel, it's the way that this opportunity makes me feel. So I know that um, recruiting is a huge part of direct sales and it's our lifeline to um, growing our team and it's our lifeline to promoting. So I wanted to give you guys kind of this other perspective because it kind of opened my eyes into saying like, oh yeah, the nails are great right? Like the nails and selling the product is fabulous, but I love the way that this opportunity makes me feel when I go to bed and when I wake up every morning, and I want to be able to provide that for other people. So he told a story, and um, I looked it up so that I could not totally screw up the story, but it's a good perspective on what we do in direct sales and what we do with Jamberry. So the story goes like this. A fellow was stuck on the top of his roof in a flood. He was praying to God for help. Soon a man in a rowboat, or a woman, came up to the, the fellow and shouted, Jump in! I can save you! The stranded fellow shouted back, No, it's okay. I'm praying to God and he's going to save me. So the woman in the rowboat went on. Then a motorboat came by. The fellow in the motorboat shouted, Jump in! I can save you. To this stranded man said, no thanks, I'm praying to God and he is going to save me. I have faith. So the motorboat went on. Then a helicopter came by. The pilot shouted down, grab the rope, I will save you. And the stranded man again replied, no thanks, I'm praying to God, I have faith, he's going to save me. The helicopter reluctantly flew away. As soon as the water rose above the rooftop, the man drowned. He went to heaven to have, a dis, dis, to, to have a chance to discuss with God. And at this point, he exclaimed, let me move this over. Um, I had faith in you, but you didn't save me. You let me down. I don't understand. And God replied, what more do you want? I sent you a rowboat. I sent you a motorboat. And I sent you a helicopter. What more did you expect? So... I thought this was a super interesting story. So we are the rowboat, we are the motorboat, and we are the helicopter. We have the chance every single day to be able to provide women and men, if they want, but women a chance 
to get off of the roof and be saved. And I'm not talking in faith. I'm talking we have the opportunity every single day to talk to people about how this could make them feel when they go to bed and how this can make them feel when they wake up every morning. So we're really that lifeboat. We're really the vehicle and we have the opportunity to be able to provide that vehicle for them to get to their goals and their dreams. So what do you think about that? Because I thought this was just... It was a Periscope that someone had sent to me um, that works for a whole nother direct sales network marketing company that I thought was, this is so amazing to me. Um, and this was a whole nother outlook um, to give. So if you're holding the opportunity and you are asking people and you are offering the opportunity to every single person you come across, start. You never know where that person is in life and how it's going to make them feel when they have Jamberry in their life, if they can find any amount of success in whatever that might look like for them. So if you're holding the opportunity and you're not asking people, it's kind of selfish. You wouldn't want to let someone drown on a roof. You'd want them to get in your boat with you. And if they say no, you be the rowboat and you row away. And you go on and you find the next person that might need help off that roof. Um, or that might want to feel a certain way when they go to bed and feel that they can be able to provide for their children and their family, whether it be $200 a month, $100 a month, or five grand a month. Um, that's for them to really determine, but you're still giving them that opportunity. So enough of my soapbox for the day. I thought that was a very interesting perspective that I wanted to share with you guys. So mwah! happy Wednesday.